everyone, welcome back to makingmusicmag.com. My name is Anna. For those of you who don't know me and for those of you who do know me, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to play the E major scale on the clarinet and E major is the fifth scale in the circle of fifths. There's going to be four sharps in E major, so there is G sharp, F sharp, D sharp, and C sharp. So instead of playing those regular natural, we're going to raise it up a half a step as always. Be sure to come back next week and Cassidy is going to be showing you how to play the relative minor scale, which is the C sharp minor. And she's going to be here next week showing you how to play that on the clarinet as well. So be sure to check that out one week from now. So all of that being said, I know this is going to be more of a longer video, so let's just get started on learning how to play the E major scale. Okay, so the first note in the E major scale is going to be, of course, E. So the way we're going to play E is having all fingers down on the left hand as well as the right, and then your back thumb on this back keyhole, and your pinky is actually going to be on this key pressed down as well. So this is going to be E. So we're going to actually be switching pinkies and my pinky is going to go on this key right here and all of your other fingers are going to remain the same. So all we're doing is switching pinkies like so from here, which is E, to here, which is F sharp. This is our first sharp in the E major scale. And this is what F sharp sounds like. So we go from E to F sharp. Next is G sharp, so we're going to be switching pinkies again, and we're going to be putting our pinky here, right above this key. This is where our pinky is going to press down, and everything else is still the exact same. All we're doing is switching pinkies from the left to the right on this key right here. This is going to be G sharp. So all we're going to be doing next is actually lifting both the pinky and this third finger on your right hand up. So we're going from this key right here, which is G sharp, to A, natural. So only these three should be pressed down, plus one and two on your right hand, and the back keyhole should all be pressed down and covered. So this is A, we're going from G sharp to A. Next, what we're going to be doing is lifting that first finger of the right hand up, and we're leaving our middle finger here pressed down in this middle key right here. This is going to be B natural, and this is what it's going to sound like. Okay, so far we've played almost over half the scale of the first octave. So we've played E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. This is what all of that sounds like. So it's coming together quite nicely. Okay, so we stopped at B, now we're going to C sharp. So we're just lifting this bottom hand. So only the left hand is up on these three fingers plus the back keyhole. And our pinky is actually going to be pressed down on this little hook key right here. This is going to be C sharp. So we're going from B, lifting, pinky is gonna be pressed down, and this is C sharp. Next, we're going to be lifting those two bottom fingers so that the hook is now not pressed down and the bottom finger is not covering that bottom hole. So you should have only two 
fingers, the first two top ones, plus the back keyhole. This is going to be D. However, you want to make sure that this bottom side key is pressed down as well using your, the pointer finger of your right hand. You want to make sure this bottom one is pressed down so that it raises it up a half a step and instead of D you're playing D sharp since that's part of the scale. So one, two, back key hole and this bottom key. This is going to be D sharp. And finally we're going to release that bottom side key and also release the second finger so that only this top finger and the back key hole are pressed down. And this is going to be the last note of the E major scale for the first octave. So this is E. So back to B natural, we're going to be playing B, C sharp, D sharp, and D. So now that we've learned how to play the first octave, I'm going to stand for this part so that you can see my fingers corresponding to each note so that you can play along. Here we go. And that's how you play the first octave of the E major scale. So now that we're moving on to the second octave, we're going to start the second octave where we stopped in that last octave, the very last note. So remember we stopped at octave E here, so this is going to be our first note of the second octave of the E major scale. And this is what it sounds like. Next is F sharp, and all we're doing is lifting that back keyhole so that only this front first key is pressed down. So we want to cover that. This is going to be F sharp. Next is G sharp, so all we're doing is releasing that and pressing down on this side key on the clarinet right here. This is going to be G sharp, so we want to make sure this is pressed down to raise it up a half a step, and this is G sharp. Pretty easy so far, so next we're going to be playing A, and all we're going to be doing is shifting our finger from this key to this front key right here. We want to be holding this down so that we're playing A. This is what it sounds like. Next we're going to be playing B natural again. So this time we're making a huge change to our fingerings here on the clarinet because we're actually going from this finger down to all of our fingers down. So actually we're going to have on the left hand the first three down and then the second three down on the right hand, plus the back keyhole along with this register key here that's going to allow us to play those higher notes on the clarinet. So we want to have this key right here pressed down while still covering this back keyhole. Not only that, but we also want to have our pinkies pressed down on this key right here. So this is going to be B natural. That was B natural. Next we're playing C sharp, so we're shifting pinkies and we're just going from this key here to this key, the side key right here. And this is going to be C sharp and everything else is just going to be the exact same. Don't move your fingers. Just switch your pinkies from here to here and this is C sharp. And again, you might start to feel a repeated pattern because we're starting to repeat the fingerings from the very beginning of the E major scale, the lower octave. All we're doing differently is adding that register key up here. Otherwise, it's the exact same as the first octave, just different notes. So we just played C sharp and now we're going to D sharp. 
and it's going to be the same as G sharp in the first octave, but all we're doing is having this back register key in that hole covered and our pinky on this first key above our third finger down. So this is going to be down as well. This is D sharp. And finally we're going to be playing E. So all we're doing is lifting these bottom two fingers up and everything else is the same. So back and register these three down and these first two on the bottom section of the clarinet down as well. This is octave E. Okay, so now that we've learned how to play the second octave, I'm going to stand and we're going to be playing it together slowly so that you can see each note corresponding to my fingers. So this is the second octave. to the third octave, we're going to start where we stopped at the second octave, which was this E right here. So we have our back thumb hole and register key covered and pressed down, plus one, two, three, one, two, this is E again. This is what it sounds like. Next we're playing F sharp and all we're doing is lifting this top finger right here. The rest just remains the same. So all we're doing is lifting that top finger and this is F sharp. So next we're lifting that hand up and we're actually going to be pressing down on this hook key. Everything else is pressed down plus back and register key. And this is going to be G sharp. So that was G sharp. Next we're going to be playing A. So this is G sharp. All we're doing is lifting those two bottom fingers plus these first two and the back and register key. This is going to be A natural. That was A natural. Next we're playing B natural, so all we're doing is lifting that bottom finger like so, and only this first key and back and register key are going to be pressed down. This is B natural. So now let's go back down to the very beginning of the third octave, and we're going to be having these three down plus back and register key plus one and two right here. This is E. So all we're doing is lifting that first finger, leaving this middle finger down, the rest stays the same. This is F sharp. Next, we're lifting that and adding this hook key right here. So your pinky is going to be pressed down on this key. This is G sharp. So we're lifting those two bottom most fingers. So we only have the first two in back and register key. This is A. And then we're lifting that bottom finger. This is B natural. So this is where we're going to stop. So let's go back down to E and make our way up halfway through the scale. Next we're going to be playing C sharp and it gets a little more challenging because we're getting into that really high range on the clarinet. So we want to have more air support and a better embouchure in order to be able to play those higher notes well. So um, in terms of fingers, what we're going to do, we stopped at B, we're playing C sharp. So these bottom two on the left hand are going to be down plus the first bottom two on the second half of the clarinet are also going to be down and your back and register key are going to be down as well. This is C sharp. So next comes D sharp and I'm just going to teach you how I play it personally. So what I like to do is with this bottom, most bottom finger, 
I like to trade this out while this finger is still down. I just like to make a quick finger change with these two. So I like to have my ring finger on this little hook right here while simultaneously lifting that middle finger from that second keyhole here on the bottom half of the clarinet. So I'm just switching fingers like so. So this is C sharp jumping to D sharp. C sharp, D sharp on this hook right here. Everything else is still the same. Back and register key plus these two, this bottom first key, and this hook. And this is what D sharp is going to sound like. So that was lovely. That was D sharp. And finally, we're just going to lift that. And this is high E on the E major scale. It's just these bottom two on the left hand and the back and register key. So now that we've learned how to play the third octave, I'm going to be standing for this part again so that you can see what fingers are which notes. So, so now we're going to be playing the third octave where it's a little more challenging, so you want to make sure you have good breath supports and you have a good embouchure. So third octave, here we go. Alright, so now let's go back to the very beginning. We're going to be starting on the very lowest E that we learned at the start of this video. We're going to play our way through the second octave and end on that really high E. Again, I'm going to be standing for this part so that you can see my fingers corresponding to each note that we learned and here we go. Congratulations, you guys. I know that third one is a tough one, but now you've learned how to play three octaves of the E major scale. Keep practicing, and again, be sure to come back next week, and Cassidy is going to be showing you how to play the relative minor scale, which is the C sharp minor, and she's going to be teaching you how to play that on the clarinet, so stay tuned for that next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.